These are my parents, and they're going to be watching me do my video today. I love the feeling of sitting down to a home-cooked dish with my friends and family. But who has the time to slave in the kitchen all day? I'm Olivia Skillman, and today I'm going to teach you how to make my family's longtime favorite shareable Greek guacamole dish in just three quick steps. By the end of this speech, you'll have insight on how to prepare the dish properly, how to mix the ingredients, and how to serve the finished guacamole. Let's begin with step number one. First, you must prepare the proper ingredients for consumption. It's very important that you know which items you're going to be needing. These items include three medium-sized pitted guacamoles, two tablespoons of fresh lime lemon juice, one large tablespoon of sun-dried tomatoes, three tablespoons of ripe cherry tomatoes, one-fourth of a cup of red onions, one teaspoon of fresh oregano, two tablespoons of fresh parsley, salt and pepper, a dash of each, and four chopped Kalamata olives. Take the time to rinse the cherry tomatoes, olives, and parsley prior to, pre prior to serving. You should make sure to use cool water when rinsing and use a very gentle water pressure. Cut each of these items as previously instructed, and it's best to use a sharp knife and a freshly cleaned cutting board. Now that I've taught you how to prepare the ingredients, let's move to step two, adding the ingredients together. First, you're gonna place the previously prepared avocados and lemon juice into a bowl. Then, secondly, you must mash these two items together and using a large fork and evenly distributed pressure. Thirdly, mix all of the remaining ingredients into the mixing bowl the sun-dried tomatoes, the diced cherry tomatoes, the onions, the oregano, the parsley, the salt, pepper, and the olives. Mix these gently with a fork and stir thoroughly. Lastly, let's move on to the final step of serving the guacamole. Find a visually appealing bowl other than your mixing bowl, and this bowl should be adequate size to fit most or all of the guacamole that you've previously prepared. It should also be wider than deeper for optimal sharing potential. Transfer all of the guacamole into the center portion of the bowl and display the finished dish on the serving table with pita chips nearby. Now that I've shared with you these three simple steps on how to make my family's favorite guacamole dish, you should never feel like you need to slave in the kitchen all day again. You might even find out that this unique guacamole dish is one of your new favorites. Thank you. And these are my parents in the end. Thanks.